brewing for beer, brewing and event videos. Evening all. We've reached that time of year again where the Welsh is open for entries. The homebrew competition I run. And every year for from the time it opens up until normally the week before the competition, one question I'm guaranteed to be asked all the time is, what category do I enter my beer in? There's one simple answer for that, and that's I can't tell you. I haven't got your beer in front of me to taste it, to smell it, to tell you which category to put it in. You may have brewed it as an American IPA using a variety of hops, but unless they actually taste like American varieties or smell like American varieties, you will get marked down in American IPA. I mean, just to give you some examples of what I mean, and this is with some of the more clear cut versions, um, wood aged beer, 33A. If you've got a normal beer that you've aged in wood, it should be in this category. As long as it isn't one of the styles where wood aging is an expected requirement of the style, like a Flanders Red. But also, it shouldn't be in there if the wood character is not prominent in your beer. So if you can't taste it or smell it prominently, it should be entered into the base category. So for instance, um, a wood aged English porter, for instance, if you can't actually taste any wood going on in it, or hardly any, it should be entered as an English porter, not wood aged beer. A uh, specialty wood aged, so as above, if it's a category where it's expected requirement, it shouldn't be in there. But there it's even more blurred. Um, you might be able to totally taste the wood, but not taste any of the added alcohol character. If you say it was aged in bour uh, bourbon barrels, the judges are going to be looking to get flavour and aroma of bourbon. They're going to look for that extra alcohol character from, from it to justify it being in 33B. Um, spice beer, for instance, um, spice herb and veg, 30A. Now, normally if you've added coffee, chocolate, chilies, whatever, you'd be able to probably go here. But again, it all comes down to what you can taste and smell. If the judges on the day open the bottle and they can't taste or smell the special ingredients you say have been put in there, be it coffee or whatever, you're going to get marked down. It all comes down to what the beer tastes like, smells like, drinks like and looks like on the day. There's one exception to this, and that's if you're specifically trying to brew one certain beer and you want feedback to make it more like that. So, say for instance, you decided you wanted to brew, I don't know, say you wanted to brew the best, the best, best bitter that you've ever brewed. And you wanted feedback on what to do to make your beer more like that. Then, and only then, should you enter it as the beer you brewed and not the beer that's in the glass. Because it's the beer that's in the glass that's going to be judged and not the beer that was in your mind when you brewed it. The judges don't know what ingredients you used. They don't know how you brewed it, whether it's a kit, whether it's all grain. All they've got is the category. If you've given any special ingredients, they'll have that, if that's a requirement of the style, and the beer in the glass. So all they can do is then look at the style you say that beer is, look that up in the style guide, and say how well your beer compares to that style. So if you want to do well, and you want to know what category to put it in, that's what to do. Sit down with the style guideline, with a bottle of your beer, and go through. Say you think you've brewed an English porter, look it up, see what it says it should taste like. Does the beer in the glass taste like that? See what it says it should look like, smell like. That's what the judges are going to be doing. 
So if you do that, and you can say that your beer ticks all the boxes, smells like it, looks like it, tastes like it, mouth feels like it, you'll do great. But over the internet, no one can tell you what category the beer should go in. So try the beer, try it with the style guide, and then you'll get a great result. Catch you soon. Staff Cut Brewing for Beer. Brewing and event videos.